Hey, good people, it's the new moon and time to set some intentions. My name is Rick Astor, and this reading is specifically for the new moon of January 2023. I'll start with a theme for the reading. This will come from the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. And the card sticking out is Secret Admirer. This could be a person who has a high opinion of you and has kept that a secret from you, but it could also be some kind of energy in the universe that is seeking you out at this point, something that will be beneficial to you in some way. I'll draw cards from the Light Seer's Tarot now to see what specifics we have, what, what's coming in. How is this energy that's seeking you going to help you choose your intention for this new moon? So here's the hanged man in reverse, nine of pentacles, and five of swords. That's where things are now. The Lovers in Reverse, Three of Swords in Reverse, Death in Reverse, for where things are headed, Thoughts, Six of Pentacles, Feelings, The Sun in Reverse, Outcome, Temperance, things coming into balance perhaps, and the Supportive Energy, Ace of Swords, new idea, new way of thinking. The Hanged Man in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles, you're feeling smug, but Five of Swords, something feels off. And what feels off? Six of Pentacles, things feel out of balance. There's something that's not equal that should be equal. And that's the thought position, and then in the feelings position, the sun in reverse, you feel like the situation doesn't make sense, and if you could just see it a different way, then you'd see it for what it is. Where things are going or where you're trying to get to, the lovers in reverse, the three of swords in reverse, death in reverse, you're trying to avoid a decision, avoid an ending, avoid the pain that you think will go with that ending. And so then the sun in reverse is saying, well, maybe there doesn't have to be an ending, or maybe there does have to be an ending, and there's a reason for it. That's the big question here. The supporting energy, Ace of Swords, there's that new idea you're looking for, or that new point of view. The outcome, Temperance, there's that balance you're looking for. Getting things where they ought to be. Well, so what is this new idea? Let me start by clarifying that. Card flip over here. This is the King of Cups. So emotional stability, that's not quite an idea, but there is something to do with emotional stability in this idea. It could be as simple as, well, I don't have to be all upset about this. But it could be about separating your emotions from your thoughts, not thinking from your emotions but thinking from your thoughts and feeling from your emotions. So let me clarify the outcome. Temperance, taking time to get things right. All these other cards here, it's about finding that balance and equality that's missing. The card I'm getting here is a page of swords. So you're watching someone, or someone is watching you, but here I feel you're going to see how to do things from someone else's example. Someone at a distance, so you're going to see how they do it, and you're going to say, I could do it that way too. 
Now the sun in reverse, is this the feeling that things should be more clear than they are? That there ought to be some clarity available in this situation? We have the nine of wands in reverse. I don't know that that adds very much. There's a need to let go. Let go of a way of looking at things. And then, then things will be better. Let's see if I can get some more information on what that is. The card is the Knight of Cups. So I feel that that's a person. So there's some person who you're looking at they may have a message for you, or they may have a story for you, more likely. It seems like you're giving too much weight to this story, that maybe it doesn't deserve the credibility or the scrutiny that you're giving it. And I think the answer is if you, just for the sake of argument, if you sweep away this story, what information do you have to work with? And I think that's the answer here. Things will become a lot more clear when you stop trying to make that story fit. Okay, that seems important, so let me see if the cards will say, whose story is this? What person are we looking at here? I mean, you may already know, but in case you don't, it's saying the emperor. So this is someone who's in charge of things. This is a story from someone in a position of power with respect to you. Someone who has a great deal more power than you have in this situation. Or at least that's the way it appears. But this is a person coming to you with a story. So we're not talking about, you know, the king of the world or anything, but someone in a position of power in your life, but they can't really be that powerful if they're coming to you and trying to influence your opinion specifically. So this is a pretty specific message. You're kind of baffled by what you're looking at. It doesn't add up you'll reach that clarity and you'll reach that balance that you're trying to get to when you stop giving so much weight to the stories that people are telling you and perhaps there's one person in particular who's telling you a story that you have to disregard at this point. Once you take that story or those stories aside, everything starts to make sense. Let me get a final card for guidance. This will come again from the Oracle deck, the Untold Truths of the Heart Oracle. Nourish. Well, take care of yourself first is what this says. Make sure you've got the energy to deal with this situation, but it may also be important to get the information that will let you make a balanced assessment of the situation. In other words, what are you reading? What are you looking at? How is that coloring your perception of the situation? And, you know, what could you be reading that would help you arrive at that clarity that you're trying to get to? Like, I hope this could help. I hope this gives you some clarity on what you might choose as your new moon intention. As always, I suggest choosing one intention, something that stretches your sense of who you are, and something that's on an appropriate scale that you can make something of it between now and the full moon. Good luck setting that intention, bringing it about. Happy New Moon.